Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Global Spring Tutorial and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will discuss about WordPress Global Introduction. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our first part to get the clear concept about Global's parameter in PHP. So basically guys in our first part we had discussed about that what are actually global parameters in PHP, how can we declare, how can we use and how can we call. So inside this video session guys we are going to start our WordPress global introduction. So first of all just move to next slide. So what are global parameters in WordPress? So WordPress specific global variables are used throughout WordPress code for various reasons. Almost all data that a WordPress generates can be found in global variable. It means that actually the WordPress provides suppose if you want to retrieve the user role, if you want to retrieve the post detail, if you want to retrieve the database connection details as well as many more informations if you want to get then WordPress defines each and individual global parameters for that. So how can we use we will say in a bit. So basically to access the global variables in our code you first need to globalize with variable with global variable means basically how can we use those variables. So from the first video session guys we had seen about while using global parameters we have two options first either we can use something called globals and here we have to write the key name and key name is nothing key name equal to call variable name. And the second way that we have seen something by using global keywords so global and here is something called variable name. Simply these are the two ways that we had used. So by going through these definitions of WordPress basically we understood that WordPress provides several specific global variables which basically contains different different types of informations. So if we want to use those informations then we can use the global variables in WordPress. So what basically categories we have in which WordPress provides global parameters. So we have several categories something called site globals, admin globals, third something called browser detection globals, web server detection globals and finally version globals. And also we have some another global parameters we ha which have actually no categories. So all we have seen inside this playlist. So site globals means the global variables which basically used in at the front end side and also all the variables for the administrator panel are referred as admin globals. Browser detection globals means the globals which basically WordPress provides to detect the browser and this is for, for the web server and this is for the version variables means what actually WordPress version or database version and many more versions actually we are using these detected by part number 5. So along with these types we have some parameters something called global WPDB, global user ID. So all these variables actually we are not going to categorize inside these types because these variables we can use anywhere in the code either for the front end section or for the back end section. Now let's see that how can we use global parameters in WordPress. So just back to browser this is a WordPress setup and now this is editor. So basically this is currently activated called 2017 theme which actually we have in appearances. So if you go to appearance themes and now this is 2017 activated theme. So if you go to editor now inside this file guys as we know that if you go to post section. So basically if I click on any of the posts something called on view and also on the view so as we have multiple posts in our post section so basically all these posts actually use a single dot php file to render all the contents of a single post it means that according to the file template hierarchy a single post uses single dot php file so if you go to editor now inside this 2017 we have a file called single.php and basically this is the file used by individual post while rendering to the browser. So inside this file guys actually single post renders all the details that contains. So how can we see all the details of a single individual post. So if I make it something as let's say global post. 
this is our post variable basically declared as global this is global parameter of WordPress so it gives all the details of individual post so if I let's say that echo something called pre to make the format and let's say print r and something post so this post variable contains all single post detail of in WordPress so if I save this file go to browser and now as we know that this is a single post of sample tag 3 so if I reload this page we have our WP post object basically contains all the informations of sample tag 3 post these are the details only for sample tag 3 so if I go to sample tag 2 reload this page and now in the inside this page guys all we have details of sample tag 2 so this is the use of global parameters call something first we had seen about post variable suppose we want to retrieve about sample tag 2 something called ID so how can we retrieve that so if I just make post or let's say ID because it's an object so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and now this is 33 it means that sample tag 2 have ID called 33 and if I go to sample tag 3 reload this page it has an ID called 35 so basically guys here we have a simple concept that is to be understand is that if you want to retrieve any single post details in a page we have a global variable for that called post which always contains the post related details so if you want to retrieve any of the information suppose just like ID we can retrieve easily on any of the page so let's make a custom template inside 2017 so I'm going to create a PHP file and which is basically a custom template so let's say that custom template page okay so this is a CMP PHP file and now the template has been created so first of all we have to introduce by let's say comment and the comment contains some of the name section for let's say template name and this is basically simple page template so if I save this file go to browser administrator panel click on the pages section click on add new and if I scroll down here we have a drop down inside template inside this template section here is the name called single page template which actually we have created so let's pass of the information inside this page so let's say single page template and we have to write some of the information so let's say that these are the dummy informations for this page okay so we have created a template Oh, sorry we have created a page which we have assigned our custom template so if I just select to single page template click on publish oh now that's it so if I open this permalink to the browser as we can see that there is no information because right now as in our template there is nothing so let's say that get template or let's say get header this is the WordPress function basically imports all the header functionality and also we have a function to import all the footer section something called get footer so if I save this file go to browser and now reload this page as we have all the header section as well as for the footer section so now the question is that how can we retrieve all the contents of single post template because as we know that we have created this page which contains a ID which contains a title and all the content section so how can we drive inside this template so just back to editor now we have as we know that we have a global parameter something called post so if I make echo let's say echo and something for the format let's say pre tag and finally let's say print R and this is post so if I save this file reload this browser and now as we can see that single page template basically contains all its relevant informations according to this page okay so if I scroll down this is as we can see that page title also if I scroll down post type basically we have created a page so this is type of page and all the post content that we have passed so by using global parameters guys post we can retrieve any of the post detail according to that page 
So basically guys, so far we had discussed about the global parameters, something called post. So let's say that this is post and as we had discussed about there are two ways to declare any global parameters. Either we can use something global post or directly we can use something called globals let's say globals and inside that we have to pass as a key and key is called variable name so this is post okay so if I save this file reload this browser and now as we can see that the same output we got so finally we have discussed about the post let's discuss about called the global parameter something called user ID so basically guys user ID gives you the user ID means the currently logged in user okay so if I go to editor if I make the comment of these lines so let's declare a global parameter something called user ID this user ID contains the logged in user ID so if I make echo so let's make some format let's echo and user ID okay so if I save this file and before that let's add a simple comment let's say this is logged in user ID and this is in small caps okay and also why not we can wrap this inside let's say h1 tag okay or just left it for now so if I save this page reload this section as we have this is logged in user ID and something ID 1 so we have to just make a separation or give it a space so if I save this file, go to browser, reload this section and now this is logged in user ID 1. Okay, because currently we are logged in as admin. So it has an ID of 1. Okay, and also if I open this link in a private window. So just I'm going to open a private window. Paste this URL right here and I'm going to press enter. So this is rendering and as we can see that inside this output section guys here we have ID is called zero because we are not logged in inside this private window. So here we have to understand the simple concept is that user ID global parameters gives you the ID of the currently logged in user because in our private window there is no user logged in that why that's why actually we got the zero and inside our Chrome we actually logged in by the admin user role so that's why we got the user id of one so basically guys inside this video session hope we have discussed about the definition means the starting section of our wordpress globals as well as we have seen about the types of globals and basically we had discussed about the two parameters called post and user id rest of all globals guys we are going to discuss inside our upcoming videos so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day